Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. I'm Trip Johnson, CEO of Green Hill. Today we're going to talk about a uh, core function of a leader, which is providing alignment. And we do that through our core values. So last week we discussed direction. That's where you're going. Now, your values your, are going to be your compass. That's how you're going to get there. This is going to provide you immediate feedback on the decisions you make, on the people you bring on board, and really anything you do should be informed by your values. So when I think about core values, I think of them serving three main purposes. One, it's really about what's the glue? What unifies everyone on your team? Not everyone has to share the exact same emphasis on the personal values, but this is a really important process, uh, component of your hiring process. Uh, and then I also think about decision making. You know, at our organization, we really value living centered, which is a, a type of balance type thing. And so that means we're not going to make wild decisions. We might take risks, but they're going to be calculated. We're going to think through things. We also really value transparency, which means we want to have candid conversations that can be difficult. And when we do have those difficult conversations, we want to be able to pivot back and discuss our core value of transparency. If we don't all value that, we can think that those difficult conversations are harsh or someone's being mean. But when we can point to our values and talk about, hey, we're having this you know, conversation because we believe in transparency, that makes it a lot more objective. And then lastly, when we start talking about like the people that we bring in the organization and how we're providing feedback, we really try and do it through our core values, through the lens of, hey, you know, we have five core values that we think are really important and that we can pivot any sort of conversation back to that higher level thinking. You know, most people really want to be a part of something that's bigger than themselves. They want to have, they want an organization that speaks to their core values. And it's important as a leader that you do that. The question I'll leave you with is, who are your values written for? You know, are these just values on a wall? Are these for your shareholders? Are these for your clients? Are these for your team? Now, one of the reasons it took us almost six months to articulate our core values is because we believe that our five core values are important foundational elements for any type of organization and any type of person. We've talked about isomorphism in the past, a word we should all probably look up. And what I'll say is we really spent the time to think what type of organization do we want to be? You know, so our core values of living centered, transparency, unity, accountability, and growth we think that that encompasses what we want to be as individuals, as an organization, and what we want to instill in all of our clients. So again, the question for you is, who are your values for? And how are you using them to make better decisions? Thanks a lot. Next week, we're going to go into the commitment aspect of leadership, which is really about building systems and processes that reinforce your core values and help you reach your vision. Thanks a lot for joining.